What have you found, Snowy? Wow. This miniature is a true work of art. It's only a few dollars, sir. It's the first time that I've brought it here. It has been tucked away in my attic for quite some time. It's sold, then. It will look terrific on my living room table. A nice purchase, sir. I hope you enjoy it. Please, young boy, take your hands off my property. I want the ship. The price is irrelevant. Maybe for me, but not for its owner. This young man just acquired this ship a couple of minutes ago. Well, perhaps this young gentleman will accept my very generous offer. No. But you haven't heard my offer, Mr... Tintin. And again, no. You don't have anything I desire. All right. Maybe next time I will be more fortunate. Good afternoon, Mr. Tintin. Who is that man? He has suspicious written all over his face. He's called Saccharine. He's been coming to this market for a couple of weeks now to buy antiquities, he says. But none of the other stall owners trust him. He is rich, they say. He bought old Marlin Spike Hall. I've heard he's restoring it. Well, perhaps this lesson has taught him that there are some things that money can't buy. Thanks, and good day to you. And a good day to you too, boy. <laughs> what was that? Hey, where's the ship? Oh, the man is gone. Too much trouble for a simple miniature ship, I think. Or maybe not. What's this, Snowy? Seems very old, but I don't have a clue what this can be. A map, perhaps? Stop! Stop! I would even say halt! Yes, everybody, don't move. You are under arrest for pickpocketing. For premeditated pickpocketing, I must add. Gentlemen? Tintin! You're obviously not the pickpocket. Not only obvious, but also evident, I must say. Calm yourselves. What's all this about pickpocketing? A criminal who steals pockets all over the city. He's an evil mastermind. Well, I have been robbed, but the thief has stolen a miniature ship. A ship pocket? An organized gang in our city? Calm down. I don't think the theft of my model ship has anything to do with this pickpocket of yours. I have a feeling that we have already met the instigator of this crime. Right, Snowy. Maybe we should pay a visit to Mr. Saccharin in Marlin Spike Hall and gather some clues. Dogs lie. I don't think I need Snowy for this. Aha! This is the detour. I should see Marlin Spike soon. Good heavens! This place would give a ghost goosebumps. Does anyone really live here? It seems abandoned. Just as I expected, it's locked. I must find another way to get inside. Hmm. Excellent security. A hole in the wall near the massive iron gate. Let's move fast.
away. Water. Ow. I, I must reach it. Ow. Whew. That was close. Let's continue. I'm very close to the mansion now. This tree trunk looks slippery. Better watch my step. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. Gosh, I must be more careful next time. This tree trunk looks slippery. Better watch my step. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. mystery to keep your blood pumping. What's with all the noise, Butch? You will wake the master. the mansion. Maybe we'll find a way in.
Don't be afraid, Snowy. They're only rats. You have to be brave. Let's find a way into this house, Snowy. Look, our way in. Just a short climb and we'll be inside. Yes, you're right, Snowy. I can't climb with you. I know you're there. This is so frightening. I don't want to wake the master. I heard something.
Good heavens! All in Sakurin's own bedroom! I have to get out of here before he or the dogs awake. Okay, Tintin. Time to walk away very slowly. Oh well, the miniature is safe. Time to go back to work. Red-handed, Mr. Saccharin. Let's see how you explain this when I return tomorrow with the Thompsons. Hmm. This case reads the unicorn. Oh, oh, oh. oh my head. Sorry, sir. I thought you were a burglar. I'm Nestor, the butler of Modern Spike Hall. Well, it looks like he's awake. Yes, master. It is good to see you again, Mr. Tintin. But next time, perhaps you might find it easier to ring the bell for the front door, don't you think? Have you reconsidered your position with regards to the miniature ship? I am not used to being polite to criminals, Mr. Saccharin. And I'm here to recover my ship. Criminal? That is a weighty accusation. Do you have any evidence to support your claim? How can you deny stealing my ship when it is right there? By your confused explanations, I deduce that your ship has been stolen by someone, hasn't it? I must say that I had nothing to do with it. That ship is mine, and I have the documents to prove it. Maybe you're right. I think my ship is different. I'm always right, Mr. Tintin. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite tired. And should you ever recover your ship, I'm still interested in it. But please, use the door next time. Yes, excuse my intrusion. Please, good night. Nestor, accompany our friend to the gates of the estate, and don't forget to close that second floor window. I don't want any more visitors this evening. Yes, Master. First, buy a window for the second floor, and then close it. Yes, Master. Good night, Mr. Tin Tin. Mr. Tintin, take my advice and forget this affair. A good reporter never compromises. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Then remember my words. You must repair all the parts 
of all the ships. That was not my ship, Snowy. I know that for sure. But Saccharine has something to do with this. Maybe the butler's words mean that there are many ships like the one I bought. It's time to return home, Snowy. Maybe after a good night's sleep, we will see things more clearly. First things first. We'll go to the news office and see if they have any information on Saccharin. Important! Don't forget the name, the Unicorn. We have to go to the library to see if there's any information about it. Oh, oof. Again, I'm careful. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I didn't see oh, you. Dear. Please, oh, allow me to help you up. Are you okay? Again, I'm sorry. I should pay more attention to where I'm going. No, I'm not to worry, young man. I'm the one who should apologize. <laughs> uh, I'm a very absent-minded man sometimes. <laughs> oh, and you are? My name? I'm Tintin. Pleased to meet you. Oh, ah, I'm Aristide Silk. Oh, did you say Tintin? <laughs> Perfect. I don't have many teas. Pardon? No, oh, uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Um, our brief encounter has left me with quite an impression. Mm -hmm. It's as if you've left a part of yourself with me. <laughs> no, I, oh, uh, forget what I just said. Strange man, don't you think, Snowy? Well, let's go home, Snowy. It's been a long night. Hell! <laughs> <laughs> 